When it's stone hot be rocking, don't come a knocking. That's gonna be Elo and Adahi over here, huh? Let's speed it up here. Let's see what they're gonna do. How you guys doing, huh? Oh, oh look at that. That is some really fast fornication. <laughs> How you doing, NATO? Yeah, you were born instantly, it does seem. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Universe Sim. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as God. That is correct, I'm actually a god in this game. This is indeed a god game-like title. Now, what's really cool about the Universe Sim is that unlike other god game titles out there, where you look after one civilization, one set of people, maybe one planet if you're lucky, in the Universe Sim, you will be looking after an entire universe, meaning many planets, many different type of um, civilizations to kind of deal with. At the moment, though, it is an alpha version of the game, very early in development. Everything you'll see here is not to dictate what the game's going to look like at the end, but it is actually a very fun game already, what little I've played here thus far. So, the only problem with this video right now is, is going to be the fact that we cannot save our progress. Therefore, this is only going to be a one-shot for now, but if you guys enjoy it, let me know. And the moment there's a build out there with a save feature, I will definitely be covering this on the channel because I really, really enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. All right, and here is our world. Welcome creators. Cool, we'll go click through this. Now, I'm going to leave the tutorial on just because it does a really good job of explaining the game. And because this is only a one shot, because we can't save, I this will give you like the better idea as to what the game is all about and exactly how it controls and stuff like that. So... I'll leave these bad boys on over here. Now, mind you, I'll give you like a bit of a speed course through the tutorials. So I won't read everything on screen, but I'll give you like the rundown on it. So moving around is very simple. WASD, you could also hit right click to drag around. Zoom in, zoom out. You know, the basic stuff when it comes to the camera works over here. Free flight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the epicenter is going to be really important. This is where our civilization will first start off at. Now, at the moment, you start off in the Stone Age, and as the game is developed, we'll actually be able to go all the way into the modern era. But at the moment, we only have the Stone Age available because it's an early alpha title. Now, what's really cool about this part is that you have to place the epicenter in a really ideal spot. Maybe a lot of trees, a lot of stone, a lot of water, so you actually keep your little nuggets, as they're called in the game. They're not called people, they're called nuggets. You want to keep them pretty well fed, pretty well situated, and more importantly, over time, if you do that well, they'll start, you know, mating with each other, making your civilization grow, etc, etc. So you could definitely interact with them, but on the most part, it will be just running an automatic, and you'll slowly do small things here and there to kind of guide them, but they will be an automatic over here. I love the rain feature as well, because when you're in the rain, you can see the screens kind of give, like, little weird water, you know, like, wet screen effect. I really like that a lot. Anyway, so the epicenter has to be near some trees, and preferably nowhere too cold, because I want to set up a couple of farms here pretty soon as well. So let me look around. I like the idea of maybe this. Now, if you're looking at the time over here, this is actually running because we're moving through different time zones of the world. And also different temperatures. So depending on where you place it, it's going to be a different time and different weather and stuff like that. So it's very important to kind of place somewhere really ideal for what you want to build. And over here looks pretty good, actually. Oh, this looks very nice. Good weather. A lot of water, not too many cold stuff, good herbs and stuff to kind of collect. All right, I like it here. So I'm going to place you right... Okay, get out of the way, Epicenter. We'll place you, like, right over here. Congratulations, the Epicenter forms the core of your new society. Your civilization will expand outward from this location as the population grows. Now, as I mentioned, they're going to run on automatic for the most part. You can actually push them to do different things, but we'll talk more about that here pretty soon. At the moment, we have two adults and two children. Those kids will grow up eventually, and um, they might start breeding with each other. So you know what? It's not too weird, man. You know, it's the Stone Age, okay? They have to start somehow. Um, so happiness. I, I won't discuss this too much, but the this will tell you their happiness, and if they're happy, they produce better for you. If they're unhappy, they are slow to produce. And also, if they're happy, they kind of get their bump and grind a bit more often, so that means more people for you to take care of, which is always pretty good. So next, population. We already talked about that. We have two adults and two kids. God powers menu. Now, this will be really important, but we'll talk about that here later. Mating. Now, for the most part, you can actually set this in manual, and you could kind of, like, select who's going to mate with who. But, for the most part, I let this run in automatic. I let them fall in love with whoever they want to fall in love with. I let them get down and dirty with whoever they want to get down and dirty with. Now, what's really cool about this is that whenever they do start, you know, getting really down for business, the little stone huts will start basically rocking back and forth. <laughs> so, when is stone hut be rocking... Don't you come a-knocking. Anyway, um, we're going to keep that on automatic because I want them to, you know, just mate with whoever they want to mate with. Um, the stat screen will be down here. Obviously, right now it's really early in the game, so we won't have too much to kind of display. 
Uh, the view of the epicenter. I could essentially kind of leave as a god and just go look elsewhere, start another civilization somewhere else, interact with the world however I see fit. Um, I could use my godlike powers to pull mountains apart and trees and stuff like that. I could fling them across the world, because I'm god. But whenever I want to go back over there, you click on your epicenter and find out what your people are up to. Make sure they're up to something good. Alrighty, so that's that. Next one, construction. Over here is going to be the heart of the game. This is where you set them up with orders to construct different buildings and stuff like that. We'll be doing a lot of that here in this um, video today. Resources will be down here. We have 30 stone and 53 wood. We have 10 food. This will tell you how much water you have, how much water you're using, how much electricity you have, how much you're using, how much food you have, and how much you're using, etc, etc. Uh, water, we already essentially talked about that. And down here will be news and logs. Basically, anything of importance is going to show up over here being like, Hey, um, your people are dying of thirst, or hey, people are dying of hunger. Really important stuff down here. And the seasons panel will be up here. Now, what's really cool about the seasons, if you set up a weather forecast station, you can kind of start looking into the weather changes for the future, and you can start kind of like dictating your farms based on the type of weather that's going to come down in the future. But again, we'll talk more about that soon. Tooltips, yeah, yeah, and speed up the future. Okay. And you could pause and read this if you want to about the Nuggets and what they're all going to be about here in the future. Alrighty, now we're free to go. So, first thing first, I want to farm for food down the line. Really important for us. And also we need some water as well. We have two kids and we have two adults. So our resources will be stretched in here for now, but that's okay. Let's go over into building ourselves a... A water pump. We need to get the water out of this area first before we can put it in wells and reservoirs, etc, etc. So, you're going to be coming down right... Over here is pretty good. Okay. So, it'll kind of like slowly grow in here. And then, if you come over here and click on this, you can assign constructors. Um, for the most part, it's going to be automatically assigned. The game's actually really good, the AI, when it comes to like, you know, figuring out what needs to be done. So it's really good about that. At the moment, you're prioritizing something else, but you could always go ahead and be like, hey, prioritize this right now, and they'll come over here and do it, as you can see. They're hauling the stone and the wood here first before they start working on it. Um, so that's done over here. Great. Now, since we have the water being pumped, we need somewhere to place it. So we'll come over into construction again, and we'll go into, let's see, we're looking for, I guess, uh, we also want to set up a fishing area soon, but... Soon. Soon, soon, soon. I guess a well would do us pretty well early on. <laughs> a well would do us pretty well, he says. Oh, very funny, found. Um, 17 is a lot better than 16, so if I could just kind of place you, let me rotate. Come on. Come on. I saw the 17, though. There you go. We'll place that well right over here. Okay. And whenever they're thirsty, this will pump the water up and it'll place it in here clean as a whistle for them. Now, we also want to set up a reservoir so all the excess water that is pumped is actually stored for the future for farming and stuff like that. So we want to do set one of those up. But I think the next thing we should do is probably start working on the farms for some food. Because whenever we start picking up all the area like full of berries and stuff like that, we'll be basically left with no food and that could be really problematic. Now, what's really cool is that two of our kids actually grew up into adults. And there's actually one extra kid, so we didn't see this, but it seems like our people have been getting down and dirty with each other. We just kind of missed it because we've been busy over there looking at the what needs to be built. But yeah, people are actually over here reproducing quite well. It means they're happy. Very cool. And the well's ready to go? Alrighty. So let's go over here and start working on a farm, I'm going to say. So we'll do... Mm, where's my farms at? Farms are... Oh, you know what? Let's do a fishing area first, actually. We're, we're near water anyway. Fishing pier. So, you, my friend, I want you, like, right over here. I've never set one of these up before. I normally go farm, but I kind of want to go fishing this time around and see what that's all about. Alrighty. So, our water has stopped producing. Why is that? There's obviously a lot of water here. Is it because... Hmm. Oh, because you're filling that up and we have no reservoir. So we do have to set up the reservoir for the excess water to be, obviously, stored. Because right now, this is kind of filled up, so we have to move this water in here. But until that's done, this is going to stop working to set up the reservoir. Okay. That definitely makes sense here. And as I mentioned, we could forward the game by holding the plus key. And it'll speed them bad boys up over here. All right. Oh. Oh. Fishing, fishing. I want to see that happen. This will tell you the progress. We're almost done over here. Yeah. 
And now, we're gonna set up a fisherman over here. Assign fisherman, so this is gonna be a person that's here every single day just fishing away for us. I'm gonna give this job over to... the eight-year-old Elu, who happens to have a six in might. So, Elu, you're gonna be our designated fisherman. No, no, I want to assign you. There you go. So now, you are gonna be my go-to fisherman. And they're gonna get on a boat and basically go into water and start fishing about. It's actually kind of fun to see. Alright, so that's done. Great. It is 73 degrees, huh? Fahrenheit. I know I have the American um, weather system or the um, thermometer set up over here. I'm sorry. It just makes more sense to me. That's what I grew up with. I kind of know Celsius a little bit now thanks to like games like this War of Mine and other games I've played in the past. But I'm still a Fahrenheit person, okay? I apologize for that. So that's going to be over here set up. We're going to have the fishermen going out there pretty soon. We have water now. I think the next thing we should do is probably start storing water for the future. So how about we go into the reservoir that I talked about. And that's going to be, the forecast tower is really good for the um, weather coming up, which is going to be really important for farming, but we'll do that soon. Here we go, water reservoir. This bad boy takes a while to build, which is the reason why I always try to build it last, because it takes a lot of resources, but oh well. Um, I guess we'll place you, like, eh, close to the water area should be fine. Alright, so over here, we're not really paying attention to the news logs. I'm, I apologize, I'm over here too busy building. But you can kind of see them in the lower right corner, obviously. And it'll tell you that a mambo has now grown up from a kid to an actual adult. Now, when it comes to the huts, you can actually build huts for them. But, the majority of the time, they're going to actually just automatically build houses for themselves whenever they're ready to move in together and, you know, start getting nasty with each other, right? So, that should be fine. Over here, we have... <laughs> Who are you again? Excuse me, talk to me. Hello! This place is awesome. She's got three kids already, huh? Wow. Why about that? She's busy all the time. This is the Nuggets ID card. Okay. They'll tell you about um, their health, their happiness, their thirst, their hunger, happiness, might, they, how much they could carry, etc., etc. So that's going to be a lot of information. Right now, a lot of the game is not really implemented just yet, so it's not really too important. Plus, we're really doing a one-shot, but the information definitely is there for us to kind of see. Oh yeah, and this right here is their fertility, I'm pretty sure. So whenever they're 100%, it's down to get down and nasty again for some more kids, which is always good for us growing. But anyway, she's out there fishing, which is great. Um, let's see, what else we could do here? Meanwhile, a reservoir ride. This here takes a long time to build, so let me actually hold on to the plus key so they actually build that faster. And meanwhile, as I mentioned, we could always go out here and start kind of looking around. There's going to be, like, other critters and animals out here as well. Oh, yeah, and the... We haven't done the god powers just yet. Well, check this out. If we click over here, this will be our god powers. Depending on which one you use, it'll take a significant amount of god powers to use, right? So at the moment, we have 153 saved up. That's basically built over time by how well your civilization is progressing. So over here, you can actually click on a few powers and use them whenever you have enough power for it. So at the moment, we have construction influence for 120. We could do that one. This one over here will actually kind of, like, make them focus on building something else that's more important for you. So, for instance, if you have, like, different type of um, construction things set up, you could kind of click on this and select which one you want them to prefer to build first, and they'll go ahead and do it. Because, as I mentioned, they all kind of run on automatic. You can kind of guide them a little bit, but they're always going to be on automatic themselves, so there is that. And over here is the fun one, which is basically basic object interaction. <laughs> With this one, I could go ahead and start, I don't know, causing, like, anarchy in the world if I want to. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what the the plus side of doing this is, but it is there. But let me do it really quickly. Well, actually, I know what it is because, for instance, if I'm looking for rocks or something, or maybe even wood, I could pull this tree apart. Give me the tree. Give me the tree. And now, I could just... Move it around for extra force and then just toss it down. Now, mind you, you can actually kill your individuals or your nuggets, I guess, by tossing items on them, which you don't want to do. You don't want to kill them. So make sure if you're going to toss this aside, it won't hit somebody down here. So let's toss this down here. As you can see, now we have more wood for our civilization. So if you're, look, you're a little bit low on resources, you can go out there and kind of like pull stuff yourself, bring it back to them. And as I mentioned, that's your role as a god, where you're kind of helping up a little bit, but for the most part, they're going to be running on automatic and doing their own thing themselves. So, how is the fishing coming along over here? Hey, pretty good. She's over here gutting fishes now. My god, Elu's a baller. <laughs> She's a total baller. What about our reservoir? Oh, still taking a while. I know. That's what I, this is the reason why I don't like building these too early, because it takes such a long time. 
But again, I'd rather, I'd rather have like extra water saved up for future purposes. But then again, they're working on it now, so that's going to be fine. And I do want to say that Elo should be pretty soon for a little bit more of the old down and dirty nasty grindiness. So we should have some more kids coming up here pretty soon. But this should be finishing up. Mm, didn't get it done in time. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Alrighty, so now we're storing water. So our little water pump's working one more time. How's our well doing? We have some water stored up. Very good. Very nice. So, now that this is all set up, we also have to worry about injuries. We have to worry about happiness, where they're going to eat. So let me go over here to construction. And even though we have our fishing, I kind of also want to have a farming thing set up over here. So let me do... Actually, let's set up the injury thing. Because our, our people or nuggets kind of get injured working around. So it's probably best for us to have... A place for them to heal themselves. So let me go into... Well, actually, but Eatery will make it so they actually reproduce faster. Let me set up the Eatery first. So this will be a place for them to kind of, like, gather together, eat some food, and kind of chit-chat. And keep the happiness upwards, I guess. So, let's see. Where do I want to place the Eatery at? Very good question. Very good question. Mmm. Seems we could bring down some trees over here for that. That'll be good. That'll work. That'll work. And this requires 15 and 25. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I a fool here? I think I might have... No, no, we're 25 stone, right? That is stone. And stone, yeah. Oh, look at that. They're expanding their, um, their huts now. So I think they're ready to start moving in by themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> as I mentioned. I think that might be a couple of brothers and sister pairs going in there. So it's okay, as I mentioned, as a Stone Age man. Don't worry too much about it. It happened. All right, it happened. Okay? You know when people say that everybody's related in a sense? Well, it's kind of true. Everybody's related in a sense. Just very, very, like, far related at this point. But obviously, it all started somewhere, right? And that's where it started. So we have five adults and one new kid from a little bump and grind session over here. Which is great. Now, this will be our eatery area. You gotta bring down all the trees, which is good because it gives us more resources as well, so that's fine. How's our food situation over here? 17. She's doing a really good job going out there and finding fish. Um, this will also tell you the fish population in the area. So, at the moment, we have like 18,000 in this lake of, um, or this body of water alone. Which is actually good. That's actually a really big body of water for us. So, I did set up a really good area for us to camp, or not camp at, but... Start a civilization. Considering the weather's usually pretty good as well, it's actually really perfect um, farming weather. This is like the SoCal of um, Universum. It's, uh, it does seem it never gets too cold. That's basically what I deal with every single time. It's winter over here, and it's like really sunny and warm outside today. Anyway, so we have the wood here located. Now it's time to get the stones. Now the problem with the stones is that I don't think there's a lot of stone here in this area. Oh no, there is. There is. Oh, there definitely is. They have just to haul it though. Yeah, there's a lot of stone here. Yeah, yeah, I know. You guys have it. Let's see if I can help you out, though. Let's go ahead and use my godlike powers here. I, I, I got it. I got it. Let me, let me use it. Let me help you out by picking up the stone. Come on, buddy. And I'll toss it where you guys are working. How about that? So, come on. Force, force. Force it up. Bam! Ha <laughs> ha! There you guys go. Don't tell me the god, your god, has never done anything for you, because your god treats you quite well. I even let you fornicate with whoever you want. If anything, I would tell you, hey, you go over here and have sex with this person right now. But no, I let you guys do it whenever you're ready. I don't want to rush your sexual encounter, so I'm a very good god. You guys remember that. Alright, cool. That's looking pretty nice. I've never built one of these before either, so this will be new for me. But I'm kind of curious to see how they hang out. Oh, there they go. Alrighty. And you guys bring all the food over here so you have, like, a place to come and eat. Very good. It's going to be fall here now, so we're at 70 degrees. It's dropping a little bit. We haven't dealt with winters just yet, so we might have to see some snow here pretty soon, which could be kind of cool. Alright, so we have the eatery now. I think it's time for maybe the farm. Although, it does seem we're doing a really good job with the fishing. I kind of want to get the witch doctor up and running for injuries in the future. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Um, let's go over here to a cemetery for when they die. You want to obviously bury your dead. Hospital, quote-unquote, the witch doctor, as the game calls it. So for the witch doctor, we need some herbs for the stuff we're going to be creating. So this looks very herbal-like over here. So maybe we have them hang out 
all the way outside of town. I mean, that makes sense, right? The witch doctors are normally kind of like really far off doing their own little weird freaky stuff alone. So I think that works out pretty well. We're at six. Um, I gotta tell you though, I feel like right now my reproduction rate is actually quite slow. When I played this off camera, I was having like, I had like maybe 12 people by now already. Like they were getting really down and dirty pretty often here. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> as I mentioned, when it's stone hot be rocking, don't come a knocking. That's gonna be Elo and Adahi over here, huh? Let's speed it up here. Let's see what they're gonna do. How you guys doing, huh? Oh, oh look at that. That is some really fast fornication. <laughs> How you doing, NATO? Yeah, you were born instantly, it does seem. Very, very fast. Oh, more people are getting down and dirty, so now it does seem that people are quite happy after we built that eatery. And basically, they're just going out there getting some food. After the food, they're like, you know what? How about we go knock some boots and have some kids? Which is great for me because it means more workers for me down the line. Um, how is our witch doctor area? Is it just me or is that the face of a skull? You guys see that, right? That's a goddamn skull right there. Well, I guess it is a witch doctor. It kind of makes sense, but... The last place I want to go to where when I'm sick and I need healing is the location where I knew there was this fucking skull face on the ground. Last place I want to go to. What do you guys require? More stone, huh? Uh, let, let me help you out. Let me grab... Come over here. Come here. Pull it out. Oh! No, I let go of it too soon. No, no, don't, don't, don't keep rocking. You're gonna kill my people. Don't you dare do that. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm moving away. I don't want to land this, have this land on you. There you go. There you go, fellas. More stones for you. And it is snowing now as well. As you can see, our rivers are now freezing over. I'm not sure how Elu is still fishing in the frozen... Well, I guess she's probably making a hole in the water and then fishing. It's ice fishing, after all. As I mentioned, the game will be, like, um... Different eras. So you start off in the Stone Age, and the longer you play, the further into the eras you actually progress down the line. There'll be more dangers and stuff like that. But this is a really early alpha concept of the game. I'm going to show it off, and as you met, as you saw, I really enjoyed it a lot. So I'm going to keep my eyes open whenever there's an update that you could save at. I definitely will be coming back to this one right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.